How are you doing everyone? It's Brahim again. Um, I'm gonna go second quick video on AAA which is uh, authentication, authorization and accounting. In this video I'm going to do a short video uh, and configure a radio server on Cisco Packet Tracer. So I've already explained the radio server and AAA in my previous video about the radio server so you can check it out in the card sub. So let's start create the basic topology and test the connectivity between the devices. As you can see, the basic topology is quite simple. We've got a router and two AND devices, which are the radio server and a laptop, and a switch that connects them all. Of course, they are on the same network. As you can see, uh, 192.168.1.1 uh, for the router and uh, 10 for the radio server and uh, 11 for the laptop so as you can see you can assign the address for the router from the command line interface then activate the interface just type new shutdown Go to the laptop, desktop, IP configuration, then add the address information. The default gateway is the address of the router. Now go to the server, same way. Also the same gateway. So let's kick off and just check we did. Did we actually have connectivity between the devices? So ping to the server that's fine now to the laptop okay that's fine also so the first thing that we have to do is to go to the actual server and configure AAA so go to the services then AAA So now what we have to do is to configure the client name which is the router, our router, R1 and its IP address, the secret, Cisco and make sure the server type is Radius. So the way this is going to work is we are going to, to configure R1 to use the Radius server so the laptop is going to SSH and the router and the router is going essentially to authenticate from our radio server which will deliver back the credentials and allow the access so as you can see uh, the user setup so we can add uh, our users here and now make sure the service is on Okay, a word of warning here, good practice when we are configuring radius or TechX Plus server is to also configure a local account in case that the server goes down and we are not locked out of the actual device. 
So for that purpose, we will create a backup account. First, we need to add an AAA new model, then create a backup user. You can add a secret as a password, backup1, to make it simple. 